Officials in Russia say all 50 people on board a Tatarstan Airlines flight have been killed in a crash. The flight took off from Moscow's Doma Dedovo airport. It went down while trying to land in the city of Kazan, the capital of the Tatarstan Republic of Central Russia. We just got a new video of the scene. I'm seeing it for the first time along with you, but look at that. The fireball surrounding the wreckage of the plane, a Boeing 737. It carried 44 passengers and a crew of five. Let's go to Moscow now, where Phil Black is standing by with the latest. Moscow, uh, how much can you tell us about what happened? Yeah, Jonathan, just the most basic of facts at this stage, but as you say, a Boeing 737 flying from Moscow's Domodedovo airport to the city of Kazan in Tatarstan. It's a couple of hours flight uh, just east of Moscow. It has crashed on landing there and according to Russian state media reports it does appear that there was some issue with getting the plane on the ground it is said that the pilot performed at least one go around after one at least one previous uh, aborted uh, landing attempt uh, it has exploded on the tarmac all 50 people dead 44 passengers uh, and six crew and the most recent reports from the area indicate that the son uh, of the Tatarstan Republic's president uh, was on board so too uh, the Republic's security chief, Jonathan. It's not one of the world's most foremost airlines. Uh, how much do we know about it? its reputation, Tatarstan Airlines? It's about 20 years old. It's uh, based out of that airport there at Kazan and, and services uh, flights from that region across Russia, Europe, parts of Central Asia uh, as well. Nothing like this uh, in its history before, uh, but certainly Russian airspace and in particular Russian regional airlines have got a pretty bad rep uh, statistically. Russian domestic airspace is considered to be uh, a very dangerous place. A lot of air accidents uh, in modern history for a number of reasons, largely because some airlines continue to fly old Soviet era aircraft. They're often poorly maintained uh, and there have been issues uh, with poor pilot training as well. These are all issues that the Russian government has been trying to get on top of uh, for the last uh, few years. In this case, it was a Boeing 737, a, a newer aircraft, but investigators are now on their way uh, to that airport to try and determine precisely what caused this, Jonathan. But once again, uh, best guesses are there is no rescue effort. Everyone aboard was killed? That's the way it looks at this stage, certainly, yes. All 50 people, uh, and the pictures certainly do appear to be quite uh, dramatic. Uh, witnesses uh, on the ground have talked about uh, an explosion, uh, and there is nothing optimistic coming from the Russian government or Russian authorities at this stage. They're talking about all 44 passengers uh, and six crew members being killed in this crash, Jonathan.